Check out this dramatic video. Firefighters in Washington state scrambled to rescue people who were trapped in an apartment building as a three alarm fire raged around them. Crews worked fast to get ladders up to the third floor to bring people down to safety. Officials say a majority of the building was on fire after that roof collapsed. Good news though, no one was hurt. Another work truck was carjacked in California, this time an Amazon delivery vehicle, and the chase down the highway was all caught on camera. Police used the truck's GPS to locate that vehicle, and during the chase, the truck ended up going on the wrong side of the road multiple times. You see it right there. It then hit a number of cars before coming to a stop. That person got off and started sprinting across the freeway. And then they tried to get up that tall wall there. However, they were eventually taken into custody. Work starts today in the I-94 median between 42nd Street in Fargo and the Cheyenne Street exit in West Fargo. Inside shoulders will be closed. There will be temporary lane closures throughout the project as well. Lane closures will be in place 9 a.m. to 4 p.m. That project is expected to take through the end of August. Also starting this morning, Oak Manor Avenue south in Fargo will be closed between University Drive and 15th Street. While crews work on some underground utilities, the closure will be in place for one week. Sprite has been recognized for decades by its green cans and bottles, but expect to see a new color soon. Coca-Cola is retiring Sprite's green plastic bottles for more environmentally friendly clear ones. Sprite's current plastic contains an additive that cannot be recycled. The change will take effect next month. Cookies, chips, and soft serve drinks sure are good to taste, but researchers say large amounts of them could possibly increase your risk of dementia. A new study published in the Journal of Neurology says that processed foods with additives and molecules from packaging or those produced during heating could have a negative impact on thinking and memory skills. Researchers do say the study does not prove that ultra-processed foods cause dementia. It only shows an association. Let's see how people are responding now to that question of the morning on Facebook. Our question today is 44% of people follow this rule when it comes to food. Here's some of the guesses you're giving us. Julie said an apple a day keeps the doctor away. Tony said the expiration date. And David says that the food on your plate cannot touch. To leave your guess, check out the question on our Valley News Live Facebook page. We'll have that answer coming up around 645. Straight ahead this Thursday morning, the state of North Dakota moves fast after a judge issues a last minute restraining order against an abortion ban in the state. Plus, tragedy in an Alaskan home. Parents come home to find four of their children shot to death. Plus, this morning starting out very cool out there. Lisa Green lets us know if we'll heat up much as we head through the day.